Let's see what this little girl is talking about. Hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy. Supposedly he was from England and I speak fluent American. So there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. First of all, you look too young to be chatting to random men on the internet. And secondly, you speak fluent American and he speaks English, but you have a language barrier. What the father fucking fuck? The only barrier I see here seems to be the concrete that is blocking your brain from being able to think. And the only thing you seem to be speaking here is fluent stupidity. Ow, stop biting my toe. So, um, I was talking to him about like this game I wanted because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. Buy stuff for you? What kind of little girl would ask random men on the internet to buy anything for her? And what type of man would buy anything for a little girl on the internet he has never met before? I see a pedophile and jailbait interaction going on here. And he, it was The Sims 3 Generations and I really wanted that expansion pack for my okay. Sims game. And he said supposedly he wanted it too. And um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he's okay. like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. Right. So apparently there was a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. So a bit of a language barrier. We went over that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, that's it, guys. I have to wear this to block some of the stupidity from entering my brain before she gives me brain damage. Too much stupidity is not good for my brain. I don't want to get brain damage. This girl is so stupid. But the thing I'm wondering is, why does it weigh so much? The only thing I am wondering is, why do you have those books behind you? Do you eat them or do you use them to kill flies? Because I am sure you don't read them. That's what's confusing to me. No! I don't think that is the only thing confusing to you. I bet your whole life is confusing to you. I bet you are the type of person that thinks 10 plus 10 equals to 10 to 10. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Yes! Yes, thank you! You don't know anything! So just shut up! Just shut, shut, shut up! Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter. So, like, if you know the solar system, America is, like, in the middle, and, um, England is, like, um, it's the, f it's the closest to the sun, I think. Um. So, according to this girl, America is in the middle of the solar system, which would make America, Mars, or Jupiter. According to her, England is the closest to the sun, which would make England, Mercury. Ladies and gentlemen, aliens. English people are aliens from another planet called Mercury, and American people are aliens, but we don't know which planet they came from. Could be Jupiter, could be Mars. We don't know. So maybe there's a possibility that um, there's a difference in, like, gravity or something. So, like, 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just so confusing. I'm not good with planets, but, um, I think that might be it. Alright, bye everyone! You mean you are not good at having a brain? Not being good at planets is not your problem. Your problem is the brain you have, you cannot use it. So I think you should donate your brain to charity. Because I had some shoes I cannot use before because they became too small, so I donated them to charity. I think you should do the same thing with your brain. Donate it to charity. You are welcome. Yalla.